You must lead with a power story. Your power story is your narrative about how you will perform in your crisis. It is uh, taking the attributes of yourself that you have. Those creative attributes. You, you might be the magician. You might be the emperor. You might be the king, the queen. And now you are going to uh, canonize. You're going to articulate, narrate how you would perform based on your unique attributes. Are you with me so far? Uh, you, you have to understand that stories are more than just a, a, a collection of events. Stories are words that create action, okay? So let me, let me share something with you. Thoughts are energy. When we think positive thoughts, it energizes us. When we speak what we have thought, it mobilizes us. When we act on what we have thought, what we have spoken, it transforms us into what we see ourselves as being. You have to lead with a power story. And what we struggle with is we have two voices inside of us. We have an inner critic and an inner coach. And the inner critic is amplifying and magnifying the crisis. It's telling you you can't make it. You can't succeed. But your imagination in the middle is telling you, yes, you can. So you have to use your inner coach. And the only way to make your inner coach bigger than your inner critic you have to have a power story. This is why journaling is so important. Journaling, you're basically writing your success story. You're writing your narrative and you read your narrative. You're not just uh, 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 documenting what happened. You're, you're writing what's going to happen in the future. You know the best way to predict the future is to create it. And you can start with journaling. This is why vision boards are so important. Vision boards... Uh, create a, a picture that you have seen in your imagination. And now you start to put things uh, on paper to associate uh, and to create and to help you uh, to conceptualize what your world will look like. And it's really important because whatever you tell yourself you are going to be, your mind will fall in line and do just that. That's the power of the imagination. And then finally, you need to uh, sketch. You know, some people who doodle don't know the power of doodling. It's not mindless. When you doodle, and especially when you're having a down moment and you find yourself uh, discouraged, or you, you, you should draw uh, what the success will look like. It doesn't matter if you don't have all the resources. Again, I say, if you don't have all the power, you should doodle what you look like as a superhero overcoming the challenges. And then here's the most radical thing I'm going to uh, challenge you to do when you're leading with the power story is that now you need to embrace. Here it is. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. You need to embrace the challenge. Your power story is basically you telling yourself, this is how I'm going to perform every time. This keeps you steady. This keeps you steady. So you're not surprised when challenges come. In fact, you embrace them because you know in the challenge, it's a micro university. It's going to help you to become stronger at what you are capable of doing through the power of your unlimited imagination. You know, I think it's so interesting. When we look at ourselves, we need to see who we are based on who we want to be every day. Every day you are telling yourself a story. Every day you are telling yourself what you can do or cannot do. And so I submit to you today, I'm arguing today that you have the power in your unlimited in your unlimited imagination to be all you can be.